the detection of gravitational waves will have many different implications. I think the most important application, especially not from the first detection, but from a number of detections, will be for astrophysics. Because we will be having these detections, well, perhaps from uh, unknown sources, and then we'll be learning new things about the universe. That will be the most exciting thing. But we, if uh, we detect these signals that we expect from binary systems, then we will know how many of these binary systems there are, where they are, what kind of masses they are. We will learn about masses of black holes, which we know very little about because they don't emit light, especially the smaller black holes that we are sensitive to. However, uh, I think something that's most exciting is that we will also uh, learn, especially from very loud signals, uh, if, we, if we get to see those, or in the future when we see those, uh, we will learn the very strong field effects predicted by general relativity. So we will be testing the theory at its strongest in the formation of the black hole when the curvature is very, very strong. So this is not. Um, this is not testing quantum gravity because we are not looking at small distance effects at the source. We are looking at large motions of the source, but we are looking at curvature of the space-time near these black holes that are the largest curvature we can ever measure. Everywhere else, the space-time is very flat, but near a black hole, it's very strong, and that's what we will be measuring.